Good morning. This is the official day one of my Ecuador trip. Here I am enjoying the views for the very last time since this is the one and only night we'll be at this hotel. As I, wait, as I woke up, what was surprising was that it was very cold in the morning. It was like under 20 degrees, which is surprising because I assumed Ecuador by the equator would be super hot, but I soon realized that Quito is at a really high altitude, so it's normal for it to be so cold. So as you can see behind me, the, the hotel is fabulous. It's beautiful. And here is the pool that I showed you last night in the dark, where you can see, and the bar is right behind So today's schedule is to go to the highest point in Quito, which is 4,000 meters, go for lunch on our way down, and then eventually go to the jungle, which is the most exciting part of the day. So this is the scenery up the mountain. Uh, you can kind of see how poor the country is just by the pure scenery. And it was very cool just to see how it, it changed from where we were, I don't know what the altitude was, to the highest point where these clouds just formed and it just became this really, really amazing view. Uh, we have arrived at the highest point and the first thing I realized is how freaking cold it was. It was probably like 5 degrees up there and super windy. I couldn't take a proper picture because it was so windy. My hair was just flying everywhere. Uh, here's just, you know, the rest of the team just taking photos of this area. It's actually really cool to be so high up. I remember my ears clogging because we we were so high up which was pretty cool and then it got too cold so I had to go back inside on our way down for some reason we I think the jungle guy said the bridge collapsed or something and it kind of freaked us out so we were all just chilling outside our bus thinking it would take hours before we can get moving and before I realized uh, everyone just started running <laughs> it's like that guy over there. so this is our lunch place and amazing view it was just kind of in the middle of nowhere but it was so random that we had pizza for lunch so after pizza we arrive at the Amazon River or this is like a part of the Amazon River they call this Napo River but did explain that this was definitely connected to the Amazon River and told us do not go into the river just because there are alligators and piranhas and anacondas so we were all really scared of the water uh, I don't remember how long it took before we got to our lodge but it wasn't very long until and but maybe because I was excited we got there pretty pretty soon and we have arrived at the Minga Lodge and this is actually the jungle as you can see there's like mad trees everywhere I was so excited once I arrived. I was like, wow, this is really, really cool. And you could tell that we are really deep into the jungle. And then after a long walk, you can see, look, there is the lodge. And this is the path to the lodge. And I'm just constantly looking around, just fascinated at the scenery. And when we got there, there were another youth group so I guess there's two groups of people that are in this lodge so this is the room I stayed at for the week I had to make sure there were no bugs around no spiders uh, lizards snakes of any sort before I settled in as you can see th the bathroom here looks nice like there was no issues there was no uh, feeling that I was in the third world country at all. Here is our balcony, which is facing the jungle with a nice hammock, which I didn't really use. I, I kind of just sensed that there would be bugs in there, so I didn't really want to touch it. So this concludes my day one, and I'm just here enjoying the sunset before dinner time. And as you can see, it's beautiful.